to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the season finale of Death Battle for Hulk versus Broly, Marvel versus Dragon Ball. Rage so it's versus Rage at this point. Two this big, is. beefy boys battering the better loving Beezus out of each other. I know. I just want to keep the bees going. But um, yeah. Like you um, said, though, it's it's it's. It's the two raging monsters going at it with one yes. another. That's so what we, it is. yes, we have an incredible green monster versus the legendary Super Saiyan. So Hulk, what else do you need to know about the fucking Hulk? Come on, we like Hulk is like one of the Hulk. most well-established big guy superheroes of all comic books. Like yeah. literally, one of the big dude tur- gets angry, turns in big hulking monster, wrecks shit. There you go. End of story. Um, Amazingly well voiced by um, Fred Tatsuyor. Amazingly well voiced in live action one by Mark Ruffalo. Uh, then we have Broly. Um, I'm curious about this one where they're going with Bro- Broly in this one. Um, because Depends, as you, yeah, yeah, because as you know, there is the Dragon Ball Z Broly, um, mm-hmm. which is the raging Hulk monster that apparently everybody and their mother loved back in the day, fanboyed over. Which I'm like, mm-hmm. they made three movies of them. The first one was the only was the best of the three. The other two were yeah. just why. Um, but then we got the Dragon Ball Super Broly, which was a very well done version, which established way better established why Bro- Broly's distaste for um, Vegeta and Goku in general. Better build up with his relationship with his father. Better build up to a, one of the best animated fight scenes in, in years for Dragon Ball. I just really well done overall so i'm very yeah. curious to see which broly to go with i'm assuming they're going with the super version of broly that's my assumption i would assume too but we would have to see um but yeah he is considered the legendary super saiyan the um one the prophecies always told talked about if we're going yeah. with the original lore about him yeah it depends, of, it depends on which lore they're going to go off of i would have to go um, i would have to say they probably would be going off the one that's now canon but, yeah what's key about his transfer super saiyan legendary super saiyan transformation is it um unlike goku's initial super saiyan transformation his is primarily focused on channeling the ozaru hmm. pretty much though so they're they're the ultra rage, great uh, monkey great monkey form pretty much yeah. that they have and it channels that into his body and that's what helps him not only become Super yeah. Saiyan, but eventually the um, what's considered nowadays technically to be like Super Saiyan Jade, pretty yeah. much. Because it was already established that um, it was Kale, Kale. Uh, yeah, was I believe Super- it was Kale. Kale was um, Kale or Khalifa. One of those two. Yeah, one of them was established as a new like. It's just a, their version actual, in that universe. Yeah, their, their yeah, universes. It's it's well established that this is a, that she's that legendary Super Saiyan form, the Super Saiyan Jade. So I mean. That's all I can say about him. Like his power is maximum, mm-hmm. his ultimate maximer. If you guys watch the Dragon Ball Z abridged Broly movie, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, um, so yeah, let's just dive into this. Um, yeah, um, who, do you, who are you calling? Are you calling who may win the rest of this right now? Or are you gonna wait? Most likely Broly. Um, I'm but... gonna call out Hulk. Um, because I actually just looked up their their actually their death battle records without spoiling anything. It's not really spo- it's not really a spoiler. Go on, stuff. go on. But it's like, but Hulk has won a lot more, and Broly's like kind of dead even, pretty much, where he's like, it can go either way. Okay, but again, so. that's what I'm going off of. I'm going off of, I'm gonna say I'm honestly personally myself, I could be wrong, you know, it could it could turn out to be Broly, but I'm for right now I'm gonna go with Hulk. Okay, so let's dive right. into this then. Yeah, this is, this is for be- this is for Hulk versus Broly. Marvel versus Dragon Ball Death Battle. So, here we go. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Warner Bros. Pictures and HBO. <laughs> we'll watch that eventually, sooner or later. I have already. You did? Why did yeah. you fucking... I was saving not watching it to watch with you, man. That's fucked up. I guess that doesn't matter. I can still watch it with you. And... You're just going to leave me hanging there, bro? What'd you think? It, it was good. I, I see where the people, some people are having issues with it. But, but you, enjoy, you did enjoy your time with it. Yes, I did. That's all I need to know. Because that's probably that's going to be probably me for me. I won't mind watching it again with you. I don't care. Because I don't think... Because, okay, 
Is it Rise of Skywalker bad, but enjoyably bad? Or is it just its own thing? I can say it's its own thing. It doesn't okay, live up so. to the first, it doesn't live up to the first one. That's the first one's still, yeah, that's the drone since I've heard is the first still one's still the best way one. Better. It's still okay. way better. Okay. All right. As primal as the ground we walk on and the air we breathe, anger can keep us alive or doom us for <laughs> <laughs> That was a funny episode. <laughs> First up is the Incredible Hulk, Marvel's mean green world-breaking machine. Hell yeah. And there's Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. Yeah, it looks like they're going with Super Broly. Death battle. Yeah, they're going with Super Broly, so. Young Bruce Banner was a genius and the son of nuclear physicist Brian Banner. Who was just the absolute shittiest dad ever? You know what? You gotta give props to you gotta pre props to Ang Lee for establishing this. Yeah, because a lot of people that ne never knew that, never knew about the yeah. uh, father. Like Brute, that just wanted to be left alone. Even with that angry shadow in his head, Bruce grew up to be a leader in the study of gamma radiation. Oh, the power from the one below all. Hmm. Really likes puppies. Who doesn't? During a gamma bomb hmm. test, Bruce. Ooh, the animated series. Ah oh, man, that takes me back. Die. The animated series and even the live action series, man. Permanently. Instead, the bomb opened a door that let Bruce's alternate personality step into the world. Thus, using his anger, Bruce Banner transformed into the Incredible Hulk. Don't me wrong, I still like the Edward Norton Hulk. I, I, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, yeah. He can lift a 150 billion ton mountain, shatter... Yeah, that was from Secret Wars. Earth, ...leap into orbit from the ground, and even mess with the fabric of reality by punching. Whatever it's oh, man! You bet your ass he can punch it and break time. The Hulk's absurd power is tied to his rage. I'm gonna the wreck it! He gets, the stronger he becomes. And yeah. according to almighty gods like the Beyonder, the dude's got no known upper limit. Though, to be fair, his body can't always keep up and will revert to Banner under too much pressure. Or too many puppies. Emotions like rage are governed by an area of the brain puppies will do that. Thalmus, which controls Bruce's transformation. If it's damaged, his life could be put in jeopardy, like when Hawkeye pierced it with a special arrow Bruce himself designed. Good thing the Hulk's a total tank who can keep fighting for days on end. Nothing short of literal gods are strong enough to take him down. When he does take damage, his body can heal almost instantly, even if his flesh has been vaporized or he's been cut into literal pieces. Oh, good Though God. Can adapt yeah. To any environment imaginable, whether that's just straight up holding energy or surviving the depths of space. <laughs> Among us, right? Among us. Who has thousands of years of combat experience and is fast enough to cross the universe in about five seconds, nearly 300 quadrillion times the speed of light. No wonder the world's so scared of him. He's a green apple flavored behemoth of destruction with the mind of a cranky four year old while the classic savage hulk persona may yeah. be a childish brute there are several maybe even thousands of other persons oh god yeah. apparently the current run of the was it the immortal hulk comic is really fucking good Dot green is a super genius and the devil hulk is the father figure bruce never had it's like an all you can eat hulk emporium in bruce's brain we got your dark hulk mindless hulk hulk squared and claw which is basically just sad hulk it's kind of dumb. I'm the Hulk's <laughs> Hulk. His human half as weak, Hulk and Bruce would finally unite against a cruel, uncaring world under a new persona. The Green Scar. He brought a world. Yes. Oh, yes. Or War Hulk. And superhero community a new asshole. And by finally letting go of puny Banner, the Hulk became the unstoppable force everyone Not a separate form persona, but a highest level world Green Scar Hulk. World yeah. is underselling it. The Savage Hulk once obliterated an entire universe with a thunderclap and bloodied Hyperion with a single punch. The same Hyperion who survived the collision of two universes unscathed, mm -hmm. which begs the question, Jeez. how much more powerful is the Hulk at his maximum? <clears throat> uh, this one's all on me, Wiz. So Hulk was once with this chick, Umar, ruler of the Dark Dimension. Boogie. Hulk could For only sister. strength for six minutes. But he made up for it in round two when he came back as the Green Scar and kept Hulk smashing for hours. It's likely they went until dawn. That's a 12-hour session of Hulk smashing at most. My man. Well, that would make the Green Scar 120 times stronger than the Savage Hulk. 
Multiplying that by the energy of the two colliding universes would yield 960 duo vigintillion joules. That's, That's a, a word? Number. I didn't even know that was a word. A single battle? Battle? Oh, sweet summer child. No, he was talking about them fucking. I knew it. You've got to be kidding me. I think I just invented a new field of science. The science of the f <laughs> The science of the f Yeah, they... I knew he was talking about sex. I... I he knew the... So, it turns out, Gamma is actually directly connected to energy from hell. Drawn from what? the ultimate satanic being, the one below all. Oh shit. By using his powers, the Hulk the is fuck? literally channeling the devil. It's also what kept him alive all these years. Every time Who Bruce which writer thought, thought of that shit? What the fuck? Return to the world, his body will heal from whatever killed him. You know what though? It gives a good and backstory about Gamma, at least for his hell, for him. No oh, time out. Dude's power comes from the devil. Ghost of his father. Technically, the greatest therapy session of all time, he thunderclapped those two assholes to smithereens. Talk about cathartic from one man with crippling daddy issues to another. Dude, well done, sir. What else can you say but incredible? Dude, fuck off. Dude gets his power from the energy of the. Oh. A brutal alien race. Okay, it's fine. Let's himself. let's see what Broly's capable of, because. Because Hulk, Hulk fucked to Duke of Dejillion times and their rage power 12 hours. World destroying power. I don't. And no Saiyan can get even close to his pissed off as Broly. Despite being of low birth, the infant Broly was considered a prodigy by Saiyan scientists due to his impossibly high power level of 10,000. Enough to survive a planetary explosion. What? Over 9,000? All right, all right, I'm sorry, I got it out of <laughs> Baby Broly was growing up nice and happy until he was driven insane by Baby Goku's incessant crying. Now everyone complains that this is the lamest backstory ever. But have so lame. you played Yoshi's Island? <laughs> have, you, have you played Yoshi's Island? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll quote Vegeta uh, Bridge. That's so stupid, but he's so cool the same character in different situations yeah oh, here we go is our primary source here but we'll look at the original and similar sayings like kale for more impact. kale there kale. you go kale see for his own son or genuine fear of broly's potential vegeta the king not the prince abandoned not the planet either <laughs> to die with only his father paragus as company just in time for vegeta to get nuked the planet not the king well, I guess the king too. All thanks to the alien tyrant Frieza. Nice job getting rid and of And technically Beerus. Saying, baby. <laughs> Idiot. Ironically, after decades of isolation, Broly and Paragus were found by Frieza and drafted into his army to eliminate the Saiyans on Earth. Goku and Vegeta. The prince, not the planet. You just said. Saiyans. This guy's a gentle giant who would rather play with his big green alien dog than fight anybody. Paragus molded Broly into a deadly warrior whether he liked it or not. Like most Saiyans, Broly can harness Ki, or one's inner life force, as an energy to enhance his physicality. Or fire it from his hands in a super laser beam! Broly's bread and butter is his eraser cannon, a green fastball that'll cross thousands of miles in seconds and vaporize planets. He can barf lasers with his gigantic roar, shower the landscape with blaster meteor, or just straight murder people with his gigantic orgasm. Gigantic <laughs> mega storm? Oh, that makes more sense. It makes it worse. Dick that. Mm. <laughs> it's a powerful technique. Though, it's a small key bolt that Broly can feed to rapidly grow into oh, that one. And consume entire worlds. The Omega Blaster. Broly's arsenal isn't just blowing stuff up, though. He can use his key for flight, telekinesis, and paralysis. Despite being stuck in the space boonies all his life, he's an adaptable fighter who can match seasoned veterans. Basically, he learns as he fights. Yeah. And while most Saiyans get stronger every time they almost die, the Brolmeister's strength is tied to his emotions. AKA, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Mm, doesn't that sound for me? Yeah. These power boosts are so they said it's rage versus rage. Like the Super Saiyan without even needing to transform. But don't worry, he Press. can do that too. His wrath state roids him up and makes him as strong as a Saiyan great ape without all the fur or the shedding. Much to Frieza's chagrin, though, Broly had never learned to unlock Super Saiyan. 
and could not compete with this was clever i thought this was clever solution murder Broly's dead yeah him to transform so again, it's all tied to their, their Despite rage. Despite the physical abuse he suffered at his father's hands, Paragus was still the only family Broly had, and losing that drove him over the edge. That's basically what happened to me when my dad lived. Except I what? turned into a super alcoholic. Although super alcoholic. A typical Super Saiyan. <laughs> You're welcome. Broly's new form was actually a Super Saiyan C type. This is an unleashed version of the repressed Super Saiyan A type, which are both precursors of the B type. Daddy, you're going out for cigarettes again? <laughs> okay, I'll see you when you get back. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I love you. Are you paying attention? Yeah. Uh, the Super Saiyan Vitamin C form has the vitamin C. And let him wail on Frieza for over an hour. And this time I mean whale as in fight. Um, right. Broly's power was so immense, it even made Goku of all people turn tail and run. Goku was able to clash with Lord Beerus with enough force to potentially destroy all of Universe 7, a humongous cosmic structure shown in this symbolic model. Making the Dragon Ball Universe nine times larger than our own. Based on this, the shockwaves from their clash propagated 240 quadrillion times faster than light. And after that, Goku became that powerful in his base form. Imagine how much stronger he was at Super Duper Oh Super yeah. Super Saiyan. Or when fused with Vegeta into the almighty Gogeta, a being many times more powerful than the sum of his parts. Broly got into a dick measuring contest with a friggin' Super Saiyan squared and shattered reality. And at the peak of his rage, he became the warrior of myth, destined to the legendary once every Super Saiyan. Years. The legendary Super Saiyan. As a broccoli haired freak, legendary Broly's <laughs> power is so great that he needs to constantly let it out, or else he might self destruct. I guess you could say his power is maximum. maximum. He's easily among <laughs> the strongest foes Goku's gone up against. That includes beings capable of shaking an infinite void just by powering up or merging with the universe and affecting alternate timelines. In his original yeah, timeline, Super was weird under the antagonist. Floating out of him all at once, and in canon, he took dozens of attacks from Gogeta Blue without any visible damage after fighting for hours. His power comes at a cost, though. In his Berserker state, Broly is wide open against an opponent who's just as strong but far more skilled. And after taking enough damage, his rage will hit its limits, and his power will fizzle out quick. He can even get knocked into weaker forms. Broly did lose his fight with Gogeta fair and square. But with new friends at his side to support him, and a new rival to teach him to temper his fury, the lonely Saiyan outcast finally got what his father could never give him. A family. Aww. But that means he has even more to lose. So watch out, because this Super Saiyan's temper is legendary. All right, the combatants are set. We run the data. Should be an interesting one. Oh yeah. What was he gonna say about Broly? Um. It should be interesting. Um. I think what I was gonna say about Broly. I was gonna say something. Uh, nah, I can't. I can't. I lost it. Yeah, this is premiered three days after it showed up. Filled with heart, hope, epic fight scenes, and a few surprises. I know I'm excited to see her swing on lightning and her golden armor that'll let her stand up to new villains like Maxwell Lord and the Cheetah. I'm fascinated by its composition, assuming a density of 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. Okay, I gotta ask you, Cheetah, how was it? It was better than what uh, what Cats delivered. Let's put it that way. Okay. okay. It was a better that's all, look, that's, that's, to be all I, that's all I ask. Yeah, because I, I can't remember what I was going to talk about Broly wise. I, for one, am excited to see safely on the big screen or at home on HBO Max in my jammies. Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. Streaming on HBO Max for a limited time of 31 days from its theatrical release in the US only at no extra cost to subscribers. But right now, it's time for a death battle.
Okay, here we go. Spiky hair man, what's this <laughs> duty planning? You scared them away. You're making me angry. You won't like me. When I'm angry. <laughs> Are they about the same height? Huh? I like the music. Yeah, he kind of gets his ass hand to him in his base form. Oh, here we go. His wrath form. Ooh, damn. <laughs> yes, get Ooh. angry. Nice. I like the music, man. I think that the music's really good. The devil. Oh, damn. There we go. Saying. Ooh, right in his face. See what we found out about the Hulk. I think Hulk may win this, but like. Well, again, we don't know how this goes so far. Yeah. Ooh. God damn. Like, give me your all. Hulk was always like that. Hulk was like, you know, give me your full potential. Give me everything. Jesus Christ, this fucking broke reality. At this point, yeah. My head's oh, hurting. My, my head's hurting too. Who's gonna survive the headbutt? Oh, I, 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 I still made my initial pick, Broly. I still I made my initial pick, Broly. I want you to know that right now. I said maybe. Oh, you. Wow. Local area saying literally too angry to die. Too angry the to Hulk die. Had numerous advantages over Broly. He was far more experienced, mm -hmm. slightly faster, and potentially smarter depending on which Hulk was in charge. But since the Hulks fight for control in Bruce's mind, it wasn't guaranteed he'd get one of the geniuses. Still, his healing mm -mm. factor was nuts. Broly wasn't gonna put him down with anything less than complete annihilation. Fortunately, God damn. compared to his unbelievable oh boy. power. This is one of those, I don't want to look at the comments section. If people are going to start complaining, is there going to be a mixture of, of complaints here? Goku could only manage a lowly nine. Ah, but that was base Goku's strength. Broly's maximum, no pun intended, was far greater. Let's lay down some numbers. 
There we go. Super Saiyan, Numbers. Broly was stronger than Super Saiyan Gogeta and took hits from Gogeta Blue without even bleeding. Based on the Dizenchu, the blonde Super Saiyan 3 form is about 400 times greater than Goku's base. Applied to Goku's new base in Dragon Ball Super, he would already be 30 times more powerful than World Breaker Hulk. And that's before factoring in Super Saiyan Blue and Goku. Oh, okay. Which are way stronger than Super wow. Saiyan 3. With this in mind, legendary Super Saiyan Broly is thousands, possibly millions of times stronger than the World Breaker we've seen. While the Hulk oh, will keep it okay. Using, so will Broly's, and it's unlikely he'd be able to catch up before being overwhelmed. After all, there have been multiple times when the strain on Hulk's body turned him back into Banner. With that big of a power difference, there's no way the same. Not all purpose life hair natural like, like this two cannot be compared. Huh? Is nothing new to Broly and other mm. Oh, okay. And don't misunderstand the Hulk's encounter with the one below all. There's no evidence he directly overpowered actual Satan, just dispersed his cloudy avatar. Hulk even said he was just doing that to buy time. Broly's flight allowed him greater maneuverability and area control, plus he could attack at a distance with key. When Hulk did close that gap, Broly's force field and paralysis protected him up close. And it's unlikely Hulk could land a lucky fatal blow, considering Broly took hits from Gogeta Blue, who's millions of times stronger than the World Breaker. You get the idea. That leads us to our last and most important question. Could Broly bypass Hulk's immortality to put him down and take the win? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes. <laughs> Whenever the Hulk or Bruce die, his healing factor kicks in to fix whatever wound killed him in the first place. Meaning he still needs some element of his physical body that... My sure future version did return from his gun. took him many years to pass this, sir. Ah, okay. Once it was destroyed by Hawkeye and his special arrow, Bruce took months to come back from the dead. With Broly's incredible power, there was no doubt he could vaporize Hulk and leave nothing left to heal. Like basically every Dragon Ball Z fight ever. The Hulk hey, pretty much. Opponent, but the legendary Super Saiyan's boundless power, arena control, range of techniques, and Saiyan rage spelled the end for the not so jolly green giant. This incredible fight was insane. The really? Is Broly. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, look! Hey, look! Dragon Ball got one. <laughs> Boomstick, a strange green man in a zoot suit left a letter for you. That oh, sounds legit. Give me in a zoot suit. Dad? Oh, so his dad. A weird man, a green man in a zoot suit. The mask. Wow. Next year, this year's the tenth anniversary of death battle. Yeah, ten years. Bigger, bigger, bolder, bolder, better. Yeah. Death battle, Death battle season, season eight. eight. March, March, March okay. Okay, right. so Good couple breather. teasers. We saw a couple teasers in there as well. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of, honestly, a little bit surprised. If like I, yeah, I picked Broly, but like considering what they told, us, dude, get just fucking gamma radiation power from <laughs> Satan, <laughs> from Satan dude, himself. That's where dude, he gets it from. Dude, fuck so Dormammu's sister so hard. <laughs> It made a whole new term for it. Devachillion, Jatillion. I mean, oh Jesus Christ. Goodness. I will give this death battle this. I found out about new things I wanted to know and didn't really want to know about. I didn't really want to know. Exactly. exactly. It's just it's just ridiculous how powerful this guy is. How, how powerful Hulk actually is. Yeah. Where he gets his power from. He's like 50 million different personalities that like can really establish how truly powerful he can become. Just absolutely positively insane. I mean, but then you still yeah. got Broly, who I didn't realize how powerful he really is. Like, really, like how powerful he really is. Like, we knew he would, his, you know, the joke, all jokes of his power being maximum aside, you know, yeah, you really realize it's, like, it's the type of thing you don't realize until like when they break everything down. You're just like, what? what? You know. <laughs> That's that. That's what this is, you know. That's and that's what it was. Yeah, um, but no, good. I really enjoyed the death battle itself. I um, the music was very well done. I really liked mm -hmm. the music there, and just really good stuff overall. I did catch. I still admit it was still caught me. Even though I picked Broly, it still caught me a bit by surprise that Broly still won after finding out so much about the Hulk. Oh know? yeah, so probably. But like I said. Don't want to look at the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> the comment section, if it's anything like Superman versus Goku both times, no. 
we're just we're just gonna skip that. We'll see. We'll, we'll just have to see. Um, maybe we'll get mixed people. You know, on this one, we don't know yet. So yeah, but honestly, good FL overall. It's mm-hmm. nice we get the we get like a couple months break before the season premiere in March. Yeah. It looks like they already tease a couple of characters. It looks like uh, Cloud, Final Fantasy Cloud, maybe doing another death battle. It looks like possibly Luke Skywalker may be doing another death battle as well. Mm-hmm. Coming back for the first time in a while doing their death battle. But I guess we'll have to see where we go for the next season, which is apparently yeah. their ten year anniversary. Yeah, this the tenth year. season. The, the big, yeah, the big ten, the big ten. So, but honestly, good stuff overall. So mm-hmm. other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about death battles, hit the subscribe button down below or hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this death battle. Are you mixed? Did you want, really want Hulk to win? Did you want Broly to win? Uh, you know, uh, you know, is it this is something that you, you see that there could be a big argument over about who actually should have won? Um, you know, uh, where you kind of sh- you know, where there are a couple of things that you were kind of shocked at that you did not know about whether it was from the Hulk or Broly, uh, for power levels or anything like that that kind of had you going like, oh, I didn't know that. Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction as well to this death battle, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. So, until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very maximum filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.